Welcome and welcome back to Stairway to Paradise. Alhamdulillah, we're back with another series. And we want to start off by discussing the idea of why religion has unfortunately become negatively associated or associated with negative things in many people's minds today. So, to start us off, we actually went out and asked people, different people, this particular question. What were their answers? Let's find out and be back in a minute to discuss it. They don't want to be religious because it's not cool. Well, usually in the past, uh, there wasn't really anything that distracted people. Uh, but now lately, all the fashion and the media and the lifestyle, people are usually distracted to other things other than religions. Because a lot of, a lot of Muslims now, are very, they, 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 say, they say they're doing God's will, but they do it in a very violent way and they harm people. And then they say they're doing, they're, they're doing God's justice on earth, which is not really the right way to do it. Possibly because of the media, they don't see positive role models. Um, they'd like to feel hip and somehow their peer groups uh, publicize that being religious is not being hip. I think people are too scared to find out what religious really means. Okay, we're back and now we're looking at religion in the postmodern world. Can these two go hand in hand? Can you be a religious person in today's world? What postmodernity is really, you know, not in depth, but just the general characteristics uh, people feel that it's not in. We asked a lot of people uh, why they thought that was the case. Some said, you know, the modern world is distracting. Others said it's misrepresentation, that religious people tend to misrepresent religion. Shadi Hamid, you're from Pennsylvania. That's right. And uh, you're going to start a PhD in? Uh, at Oxford in political science, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. And Matthew Ingalls from Massachusetts. From Massachusetts. Virginia. And yep. you're doing a PhD in? Uh, Islamic studies. Okay, well, we have a lot to discuss, inshallah. Off the top of your heads, the story of religion uh, being, people not wanting to be as religious nowadays, associating it with a little bit of a turn off of a, no, not for me. What's the dilly with that? <laughs> I think it, the, question, the answer to the question depends on the cultural context we're speaking of. Okay. So let's start with the West. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people in the West that um, portray religion as sappy, as um, overly sentimental, or, uh, let's say corny. <laughs> Give I mean, me an example of that. Oh, it's really hard to <laughs> take like one of these fire and brimstone preachers who's like, the good Lord cometh and he is <laughs> angry. You know, I just, it's, it's comical almost. So it, it's hard <laughs> to take those type of guys yeah. seriously. I think religious people <laughs> also sometimes have the reputation of being kind of very forceful with their opinions, imposing their worldview on others. Mm -hmm. And as someone who was brought up in America, I really value freedom, freedom of worship, freedom of expression. So when someone comes and tells me, you know, how to live my life or how to practice my religion, I think there's this kind of natural pullback. You're like, you know, I don't want you telling me that. And I think a lot of religious people might have that problem sometimes. Which, again, that pullback is really that turn off. Turn where off, you right. kind of, no, you know, I'm not excited, not perky about this. I don't hear anything about yeah. this. Well, it's very interesting. So you do think that there is misrepresentation. Yeah, yeah, in, I think. Well, again, now what, what characterizes uh, someone, I mean, well, uh, Matt, you're about to say something first. I was going to say, then on. there's a, a reaction to this. Okay. And we see this often in modern Islam, fortunately, where people try and portray the deen as really cool. Mm. And, but the, it, it's a reaction to the old view where it's cool. We're not uncool. We're, right. we're, we're very cool. And, right. and they so, do things like, so like what? Like, um, I'm still the, laughing at your comic <laughs> jokes, so take it easy. Yeah, these no, like, really, what is these it? Muslim rap groups that are like... <laughs> the boy band? Right. The Muslim boy, boy, Muslim boy band 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 exactly. Yeah. Girl, you know, put your hijab <laughs> or, on. That kind of thing. Or more as like you, you're cool and religious. <laughs> what do you mean? So I'm a reaction? No, no, I think it's positive. Well, because, no, I mean, you can, I, you know, I'd respect it, even if you thought so, but um, because what I think Matt was saying was that there's a reaction to it that is a little bit over the top. I yeah. I think that's where you were going with it. Unfortunately, I, I That's you why know, you said unfortunately when you started. I hate to be, you know, judgmental like Shadi was just crazy. No, no, I agree with you as well. And I, you, let's both be judgmental. Let's be judgmental. I, no, no, let's be objective. Okay. There is a reaction, and there are people who try to uh, pretentiously be cool. To kind but of to say honest, we are cool. I think that's what we need. We need to have religious people who can still be cool, still be modern, still know how, have, know how to have a good time with their friends, for example. Absolutely. Listen to good music, watch good movies. You know, like, you know that's what we need, I think. Well, so. I think, you know, Shadi, I think by if, if when you say cool in this context, you mean really cool, you know, say, then ob obviously, you know, a religious person can't be out. You know, they're obviously in. They're obviously the coolest people alive. <laughs> if they really, you know, I mean, they have to be the coolest people in the dunya if they really are in touch with the one who made the dunya who made the world. But I think that uh, what uh, Matt and I were looking at was more the, they think they're cool, 
And so you have guys walking in the street in Cairo looking like they're on MTV, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> remember yeah. the comment Sim made about you guys look like you're on MTV? Someone, I remember that. The common <laughs> friend between me and Matt who said that right. the last time he was in, uh, in the Middle East. And so that's, that's, that's what I meant about mm -hmm. there being a different kind of coolness that's kind of not really cool. Yeah. yeah, do we want, let me, going back to what you said a mm -hmm. minute ago, <clears throat> do we want to be cool or do we want to be somewhat unknown so that we can be really cool in the next life? That's a question. I'm not, mm. not really suggesting anything well, with that. Well, no, it's interesting because under a minute left now, we will wrap up, but I think we should look at that in the next segment. That's a very interesting comment. And I think that uh, what Shady said as well, I'd like to discuss it with him further when we come back, because, I mean, obviously there are good movies out there, there's good music out there, there are things to listen to, things to watch that will truly benefit you, but most of these, like, I don't even know how to pluralize genre, would you say genres? I haven't studied French yet. Okay, <laughs> well, this genre in general, most of it, uh, will tend to be uh, not Islamically compliant. I mean, if a movie shows nude scenes, for example, that kills the hayat, the modesty, the... There isn't even a word for hayat in English, but there's bashfulness, timidity, modesty. This feeling of the heart being alive enough to recognize that certain parts of the body shouldn't be seen by others. But anyway, we're getting a little bit controversial here. We'll be back after the break, inshallah, to take it uh, to uh, further heights.